In this video, we're going to demonstrate the installation of a mail case locking mailbox on a mail case brand long post. The mail case mailboxes and the mail case posts are designed to go together. If you install them together, not only will everything look a lot better, but installation will be a lot easier. This video is for those of you who have already bought a mail case locking mailbox and a mail case brand long post and you need installation instructions. This video is also for those of you who have not yet bought a mail case but you're planning to and you need to know whether to buy a short post or a long post. The long post is designed to be installed in places where you can dig a two foot deep hole in the ground and install the post in concrete. This includes areas like this grass park strip between the curb and the sidewalk, like this, and areas where there is no curb and the street comes right up to your yard, like this. Also, use the long post for areas landscaped with rocks, gravel, or paving stones, like this. In these situations, simply remove some of the paving stones or rocks before you dig. If the location where you're installing the mailbox is paved with a concrete or asphalt slab and that slab is more than three and a half inches thick, then it's better to install the mailbox using the mail case short post. See the mail case short post installation video for further instructions. If the slab is less than three and a half inches thick, then it's better to break out a small piece of concrete about eight inches in diameter and then install the mailbox using the long post. Remember to call your local utilities, like the phone company, the power company, and the gas company, before you dig. Most cities have one central number that you can call that will notify all of the utilities at the same time. The long post has a flange on one end. This is where the mailbox attaches to the post. This is the end that we bury into the ground. The post comes with four bolts, some washers, and some nuts. This hardware is used to mount the mailbox onto the post. The tools you'll need include post hole diggers. If you don't have these, you can use a shovel, but post hole diggers will be a lot easier. A Phillips head screwdriver, a crescent wrench or some channel locks. You might end up needing both, a tape measure, and a level. You'll need to buy two 50-pound or two 60-pound bags of concrete mix or post mix from the hardware store. When you go to the hardware store, you'll be faced with a dizzying array of concrete mixes, sand mixes, mortar mixes, etc. Make sure and get concrete mix or post mix. In this case, I've bought a fast-setting concrete mix. I like to use a fast-setting concrete mix because it allows me to install the mailbox on the post after only a couple of days of curing time. When you install a post for a mailbox, the idea is that you want to dig a hole just big enough to securely fasten the post into the ground, but not any bigger. If you ever have to replace the mailbox, you don't want this huge chunk of concrete that will be impossible for you to remove. I'm going to show you a technique that we borrowed from the fencing industry for installing posts in concrete. Instead of pre-mixing the concrete in a wheelbarrow and pouring it in the hole, we pour the concrete mix in the hole dry and then we pack it around really good in the hole. Then later, we add water to the concrete mix and let it cure in the hole. Post office regulations require that you contact your local postmaster before installing the mailbox to ensure its correct placement and height from the street. The dimensions I give you in this video are suggestions for the height of the mailbox and the distance from the curb. I found that these dimensions work well when installing the mailbox. I use these dimensions on every installation that I do and the mail carriers love it. However, it's ultimately your responsibility to check with your local postmaster to determine the final mounting height and the distance from the curb. Dig your hole so that the height of the post is about 32 to 34 inches from the surface of the road to the top of the post. When you place the mailbox on the post, it will make the total height from the surface of the road to the top of the mailbox about 52 to 54 inches. Locate the hole so that the front face of the post is about 12 inches from the front face of the curb. Some curbs have a very long top, like this. If you have a curb like this, then you would locate the post 
so that the front face of the post will be touching the back of the curb. If you don't have a curb, then locate the post about 12 inches from the edge of the road to the front face of the post. You want to make your hole 8 inches in diameter. Mark the perimeter of the hole and then start digging with your post hole diggers. Keep checking the depth of the hole. When the depth is about right, put your post in and check the distance from the top of the curb to the top of the post. When the hole is finished, put the post in place and open a bag of concrete. Fill the hole about one quarter full of dry concrete. Get your level and check to make sure the post is plumb in both directions. Also, check the measurement from the curb and the distance from the top of the curb to the top of the post. I usually check for plumb and check the distances several times throughout the installation process. If everything is good, then fill the hole about one half full with dry concrete. Next, pack the dry concrete in with the handle of your shovel. Double check your distances. Check that it is still plumb in both directions and check to make sure it's still parallel with the curb. If it looks good, then get your garden hose and put it on a slow trickle. Put it around on the dry pack concrete and let it soak down. This is the technique that we borrowed from the fencing industry. By doing it this way, it is easy to make sure the post stays in position. The water seeps down into the concrete and once it cures, it's strong enough to hold the post in place. Sometimes the water can't soak in the dry packed concrete faster than it trickles from the hose. If that happens, then wait a few minutes for the water to soak down and then add a little bit more water. I like to leave one to one and a half inches of water on the top. That way when I add the rest of the dry concrete, it mixes with the water a little bit better. Next, Fill up the hole with the dry concrete mix, leaving the concrete mix about one inch from the top of the hole. Check your measurements and check for plumb one more time. Finally, trickle in a little bit more water. Again, you may have to let it seep in for a few minutes and then add some more water. Find the four bolts that came with the post and keep them close by. Carefully rest the mailbox on the post. Have the key in your hand to open the lower door. Line up the holes in the bottom of the mailbox with the holes in the top of the post. Put a washer on the bolts that came with the post and put each bolt through the holes in the mailbox and the holes in the top of the post. Put a washer on the bottom side and hand tighten each of the nuts. Use your wrenches to finish tightening each of the bolts. The final step is to install the flag. The mailbox comes with a flag and two small bolts. Using a Phillips screwdriver, install the flag with the bolts.